Hey everyone, welcome to MTB Over 40. I'm Bobby. This is officially episode one. Totally excited about kicking things off. Uh, I know the intro video is technically the first one, but you know, this is the first real episode. If you've watched the intro video, you know what the channel's about, you know who I am a little bit, but I'm gonna bring you up to speed. This first episode is gonna be basically where I started five months ago and bring you up to now. Still very much a newbie, but like I said, this channel is all about a journey and I'm excited about bringing you along on this journey. I'm learning, hopefully you're learning. I mean, really, we never stop learning, even in, like me, into our 40s. You know, I'm still learning a lot. Uh, so, so all this episode is just to kind of talk about where I started and where I'm at now, and then episode two, we'll just kick things off and start going from there, all right? Hope you enjoy. So I started my riding journey basically getting the only bike I could find. Shut down for COVID had just happened. And the only thing I could really find was a box store bike. But I settled on this Swin Boundary, which after looking at reviews on YouTube, showed that for a box store bike, it was pretty good. And at least you could get started with riding. So I hit my local trails and quickly I found out that it was a lot more challenging than I thought. I was muddy. slipping, Ooh, whoa. falling off, whoa. Okay. and going uh, very slow. I'm already tuckered out. However, All right, we're rolling. with each new attempt, I got faster. I got more efficient. Yeah, got that one. And I found myself not tiring as quickly. And with each ride, I found myself loving the sport. I even got my friend Jason involved, Water's and we started hitting the trails together. I think we'd probably. I discovered the out. community of mountain biking here in Tennessee. About two months had passed, and I quickly realized that although the bike was surviving, my body wasn't. Well, it's going to be a little bit this of was a hard tail. And here in Tennessee, we have lots of roots and rock. Some flowy trails, but overall, I was taking a beating on my back. Because of the supply chain for bikes was very low, actually pretty much non-existent, I decided to look online and I found Fazari bikes. So I ordered the Apajo Peak. It did arrive six weeks later was stoked to have a full suspension bike. So here we are five months later and I'm enjoying the Vazari. It's a great bike, yeah. very fast. And having a blast with it. All right, there you have it. I've brought you up to speed on where I've been and where I'm currently at with my bike and riding. Lots still happening. I just did my fifth, first 15 plus mile trail ride uh, up in Indiana at Brown County State Park. That was epic. And I just signed up for my first enduro race coming up in a month. So lots to share. Um, I also want to talk about what I'm doing for food, how I'm staying healthy, keeping my body, exercises and stuff like that. All that's to come. Uh, so if you like this content, I know it's not exactly what it's going to be from now on, but I would really love it if you subscribed and shared this content. And uh, yeah, look forward to sharing more. So keep on riding, keep up with the journey, and we'll see you out there. Take care. <laughs>